San Diego Comic Con is of course going on, so things have been revealed, and I kind of want to talk about some of them because two things caught my interest a lot, and both have to do with shows. <laughs> I'm sorry, DC, but holy shit! What is that? Teen Titans? I know it's called fucking Titans, but what the fuck is that? Oh my god! It is even darker than Batman vs Superman! And I don't even think that was possible! This is Dick Grayson, you know, Nightwing! He's the Robin that's most like Batman because his family had a very similar thing and he didn't want to kill people but now oh no he's fucking stepping on people's necks to kill them what the hell it is so bad i what in the fucking world the fuck batman thing that thing was hysterical bloody hell why raven is like the only redeeming factor the actor seems to be good she looks the part her powers seem right so i mean she seems like she could be the only good thing about this. Beast Boy, we just see him jumping at something, like Wolverine style, so can't really make too much of a judgement there. Starfire, who was horrible. Look, I don't mind there being a black act actress for her. What I do mind is that she's not orange. You have the CGI and the effects budget to do literally all this killing, all this blood and shit that you're doing, but you can't do, you can't paint a woman's arms, hands, um, legs, and face. Also, the hair in the coat, fucking stupid. And why is she shooting fire? Why? Stop fire. Why couldn't you just made, painted her orange? She is orange. Maybe you got someone who is in a race that is more close. Too orange! It doesn't matter if she was white, it would still be wrong. This isn't the ancient one situation, even though it kind of is. Blasted Donald Trump would look better. A cyborg's not even in this. Instead, he's replaced by who looks like to be Hawk and Dove, which I guess is interesting, but why? And Robin, I've already ranted on him. He's horrible. I'm gonna say the most dreadful words ever. Teen Titans Go looks more faithful to the original cartoon than this new TV show. Alright, I'm done talking about Titans. Every time they release something new for Aquaman, it keeps looking better and better, and I'm really excited for it. I cannot wait for the trailer, and I really hope it's gonna be good, because Black Manta looks cool, the classic suit for Aquaman looks awesome, Mara looks good, everything looks so good! I just hope it isn't bad. Now, I wanna actually talk about something new, something great, Something I've been wanting. Star Wars The Clone Wars is coming back, baby. Hell yeah! So, if you don't know, Star Wars The Clone Wars was pretty much an anthology series, which, well, Star Wars prequels, but done right. It has some of the best versions of the characters, like, you know, Obi-Wan and Anakin Skywalker, and debatably Yoda. Definitely makes window. It was cancelled. Story wasn't complete. Then it was placed by the complete kitty garbage that was Rebels. Rebels was god-awful. Holy hell, it was bloody awful. Now, Star Wars The Clone Wars is coming back! I guess Disney knew that uh, that show was a complete, uh, complete shit show. So um, they decided to bring back Clone Wars and I am so excited! I've been wanting Clone Wars for so long. Everything looks great, except for Anakin's hair, it looks odd. Also, I'm not talking about Cyberverse, cause holy shit. Holy shit, that looks bad. Anyway, I just wanted to do a little news update because San Diego Comic Con and these are things that I like. So, and I guess that's it for me. I was blank for the other blank, but you can call me TK, and I will see you next time. Blah blah. You can die now, you